That's why you cry when you are on the platform of worship. The Bible says the time is coming when the true worshippers worship him in spirit and in truth. Anytime we are worshiping in spirit, there's something that goes on in our spirit, in our life. God put a deposit inside you. Are you hearing me? In the book of 1 Samuel 1, from verse 19. Then, listen, this was a barren woman called Anna. Then, she arose early in the morning and worshipped. Somebody say worshipped. Do you know what worship means? Worship means fellowship, intercourse. When you and your husband and wife is meeting together for intimacy, is worship. That's what worship means in the spiritual realm. If a demon comes to sleep with somebody, he's making that person's spirit to worship it. And it leaves a deposit in that person. Anytime we worship God, we don't come back empty-handed. We rob something that looks like God and we come out with it. Are you hearing me, somebody? That's why you cry when you are on the platform of worship. God breaks you. Remove what is not in from you and put what looks like him in you. That's what goes on in, in, in worship time. So when Anna finished worshiping, God removed barrenness from her. The Bible says, and she returned and came to her house at Ramah. And Anna and Ekana knew Anna, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Worship. God remembered her. May you not joke with your worship. So anytime a spiritual husband comes, they are looking for that worship. So they have intercourse with your spirit. And you begin to reproduce what they represent. Where is failure from? It's from them. Where is shame from? It's from them. Where is disappointment from? It's from them. Every spirit has a characteristic and trait. Just as, are you hearing me? Yes. All spirit. When you hear this, the, 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 the gift of the spirit, you are talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit. Even demons have gift of spirit. Demons also have fruit of spirit. Oh, are you hearing me? Yes. Every demon has fruit and gifts they have to offer. So if a spiritual husband comes, it has fruit, it has gifts. So you might find out that the wife is always angry with the husband. She's irritated whenever the husband is coming close to her. These are the fruits of the spiritual husband. For no reason, the husband just come back home. The wife is angry. She's just angry with him. He looks irritating. For no reason, the husband just come back home. He feel like beating the wife. It's the fruits of this spiritual husband and wife. Are you hearing me? I'm praying for you. Any one of you that they have married to temper with your destiny, to temper with your marriage, I disconnect you from them. In the name of Jesus.